Hello and welcome to the Rugged Rackhound. Blah, blah, blah. Let me try that again. Hello and welcome to the Rugged Rockhound. Today, I'm cutting some rocks. I'm here in the backyard. Oh yeah. Got a bunch of stuff over there I can cut. Let's grab a little bit of it and see what we can find. For starters, we got a little bit of that bird's eye material I hadn't cut open yet. This one's probably not gonna be one of those gastropods. Probably something else. Yep, looks like it's a shell, like a little clam or oyster shell. Yeah, that's probably what that is. Next, we've got a little bit of the black agate. And, okay. You can definitely see the black agate going through it. Got a little bit of a nice spot right there. All right, not too bad. This is a little bit of that agatized barite that comes from Yellow Cat. It broke open, a, broke up a bit. But there you can see, so there's still some of the barite around the edge. And then you can see where it's been replaced in the middle. You got some red agate and a little bit of white quartz right in the middle. So that's really common for out here. Yeah. This is a little bit of limestone that I thought looked pretty cool on the outside, and I wondered if that pattern continued on the inside. <laughs> nope, it doesn't. <laughs> it's just solid limestone on the inside. This is a little bit of agate I found sitting around. I don't know where this came from. I probably found this a long time ago. Oh, that ring structure continues on the inside. Huh. Very interesting. Yeah, I don't know where this came from. Pretty cool, though. Here's a little piece of red jasper, a little bit of agate in it that I had just sitting around. Okay, that, that looks like what I thought it would. Not a whole lot, but still kind of cool. Here's a little geode I had sitting around that I hadn't ever cut open. Oh, wait a minute. That's not Dugway. That looks like one of the geodes I got a long time ago from Enterprise. The reservoir near Enterprise has geodes at it. Huh, I think I got that a long time ago. Here's some purple jasper that also comes from out by Enterprise. Yeah, looks kind of cool. It's very purple though, which is nice. Here's a nice piece of petrified wood from Nevada. And, ooh, that looks nice inside. It's got a little bit of yellow. The wood out there usually doesn't have yellow in it. That's cool. Here's a little agate nodule that comes from out at Yellow Cat. Oh, that looks nice inside. Actually, that's better than most of the ones I get. Oh, look at that center. That is really pretty. Very nice. Here's a little bit of that Bertrandite I had sitting around still. It's kind of a faded purple on the outside. Ooh, the inside's much better. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah, I like that one. Here's some Jasper that comes from the uh, Drum Mountains. And, oh, nice. Very good pattern in it. This is very typical of that area up in the uh, Jasper. Nice. And last for today was this long piece of Wonderstone that I thought was gonna break when I tried to cut it and it didn't. Look how thin that thing is. And it didn't break. So let's take a look. And of course it does not disappoint. Look at that beautiful thing. Oh, that's so pretty. Good old Vernon Wonderstone. And that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed. There were some neat ones in there. There were some things that were unexpected. And it's always good to just cut them open and kind of remember places I've been in the past. Anyway, until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere.